I'm Stacy Page, professional voiceover artist. I'm going to show you how to remove unwanted mouth noise and mouth clicks. And so is my cat, apparently. <laughs> Using the auto heal and the declicker effect in Adobe Audition CS 5.5. Okay, let's get started. Here's a snippet of something I recorded earlier. I purposely drank iced tea with stevia in it because I know that it gives me lots of extra added mouth noise, which of course normally I would avoid, but for the purposes of showing you guys this, I figured a little extra mouth noise would be good. So why don't we take a listen first? It seems freedom and control have finally found a way to get along, introducing the trackable, reloadable Spend Smart card from Bill My Parents. So the first thing I'm gonna do after I normalize is run the declicker effect. So right here underneath effects, I'm gonna go down underneath diagnostics and then over to declicker. And I click that and I get this little screen that pops up. Now in the presets, there's three different presets available, heavy, light, and medium reduction. So I recommend that you experiment with your tracks and find what's best for you. We wanna, re we wanna remove mouth noise while making sure that we don't distort those things that we do want. So for me, I found that a heavy reduction works perfectly. So I'm gonna click heavy reduction, and then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna click scan. So it went really quickly because we only have about a 10 second piece here. Of course, when you have a longer piece, it will take a little bit longer. And then right here, you can see that it showed me where all the unwanted clicks and mouth noise were. So you do have the option of going through each one and selecting just that that you want to get rid of. But again, for me, I know that if it's going to show up here, it's definitely something I don't want. So then I'm going to click Repair All. And I'm just going to close this out so we can see. And let's go back and listen to it one more time and see if you can notice a difference just in running the dig clicker. It seems freedom and control have finally found a way to get along. Introducing the trackable, reloadable Spend Smart card from Bill My Parents. So it took care of a lot of stuff, but there was one little click in here that I noticed it did not get rid of, which is what I'm going to use the auto heal for. So let's just start playing it again. It seems freedom and control have finally found a way. There it is. That little click that I just heard. So I can actually see where it is already. But what I'm going to do is just expand it a little bit. Finally found, and what I found it's easiest to do is to look at it in the spectral view. So I can see it's right here. I'm going to highlight a little bit bigger at first, and then I'm going to, using the zoom in, expand it as wide as I can because again, we don't want to distort that stuff that we do want. So I just want to tighten it up on that little dot, and you'll find the auto heal underneath favorites, right on the top line. So for me, you can see over here with this H that I have set it up as a keyboard shortcut, which means all I have to do is hit H to make this happen. For now, let's click Auto Heal, and you can see on this view that it's gone. And let's just bounce it back, and we'll play just that section again. Have finally found a way to get along. And that nasty little click is gone. And that's how you use the declicker effect and the auto heal in Adobe Audition CS 5.5 to help remove all that unwanted mouth noise and mouth clicks. I hope that helps. For more tips like this, you can visit me on my website, stacypage.com, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.